AI t-shirt mock-ups can be extremely realistic and useful in your apparel business, but they can also be really fake and cringy. In this video, we'll use the same prompt across six of the top AI art generation software and websites to find out which one gives us the most realistic, accurate, and useful mock-ups that you can use in your apparel business. Let's dive in. The six AI art generation softwares we're gonna be looking at today are Midjourney, Ideogram, Dolly, Leonardo, Adobe Firefly, and Canva. We're not gonna be talking a lot about the specifics of each software today. We have quite a few other videos on the channel that I encourage you to check out if you wanna go deeper on any of these softwares, but today we're just gonna be strictly comparing what they give us with the same prompt. The first one I've got up here is Mid Journey Alpha, and here's the prompt we're gonna be using. It is a man standing outside on a sidewalk in front of a strip of buildings wearing a navy colored blank t-shirt. He is facing directly towards the camera. He is softly smiling. Now, I purposefully did not give this, uh, give the AI softwares a super detailed prompt. I just wanted to give it kind of the basics to see if it gives us a realistic and accurate photo that we could then add our design on uh, and use in our marketing efforts as an apparel business. And if you wanna learn the complete process to add your design onto these mockups and use them in your business, stick around until the end because I'll tell you exactly how. So I'm gonna put this prompt into each of the softwares and I'll be right back with the results. Midjourney is my personal favorite AI art generation software. I'm gonna try not to be biased because I was actually surprised by some of the other softwares and how they did uh, with this. But the let's look at what we got. So we got this one right here. And as we scroll through these, we got this one, we got this one, and we got this one. Now, one thing I found interesting that I, and I definitely wanted to see, you know, throughout the AI softwares is that I did not specify race or ethnicity. So you can see what Midjourney here is it gave me a variety of different people, which is pretty interesting. Now you can definitely put in a specific race or ethnicity and Midjourney does a pretty good job of getting specific with that. But these I think are really, really good. Midjourney's been my favorite. I think these all look very realistic. These are also very useful. You know, they're accurate, so they're facing the camera, they're wearing a navy t-shirt. Now, the one thing that you generally need to do in Midjourney is you do need to zoom out a little bit. Uh, so there is a feature in here to zoom out of the photo so that you can get the entire t-shirt in the, in the uh, image. But these are all useful. They're all standing on a sidewalk. They're in front of the buildings. Um, and they're wearing a navy t-shirt and they're facing directly towards the camera. So I could probably use any of these in my apparel business and they look pretty real. Next, taking a look at Ideogram. I've talked about Ideogram a ton and done videos and I generally think of Ideogram as a great text uh, generator. So if you're doing text-based designs, it does great with t-shirt designs and different things like that. I generally don't use it for these realistic mock-ups, but it actually did a really good job with these. So again, it gave us a, a, a lot of different race and ethnicity here, which is really cool. They're all wearing a Navy t-shirt. They are all standing on a sidewalk in front of uh, buildings. And these are pretty realistic and useful. I actually really like the cropping and, and kind of how these came out. So I think Ideogram is definitely a surprise. Next, looking at Dolly. And I actually thought Dolly would do a little bit better job. Now, I only generated this one image. I could have generated more. This is pretty bad though. <laughs> this image is not good at all. Now, it is fairly accurate. The problem is just not realistic, right? It looks really fake. It looks very AI generated. In fact, more AI generated than I, than I thought it would. And so this is not something I would use. Now we could have used, we could definitely tailor this a little bit more. We could use words like ultra realistic. We could ask it for more variations, but this is a little bit disappointing. I actually thought Dolly would do a little bit better. Our next contender is Leonardo and these are pretty scary. <laughs> If you wanna go deeper with AI and implement it in your e-commerce business to make more money and save a ton of time, I wanna invite you to go check out AI Profit Club. AI Profit Club is a next generation training program and community where we host monthly trainings, we have step-by-step -step tutorials, and it's a ton of fun and super useful. If you wanna check it out, just go over to carryegler.com slash AI. You can also use the link in down in the description, and you can try out AI Profit 
Perfect Club for just $1 for your first 14 days. So you can get in there, check it out, see if it's for you, check out some of the tutorials and different things, and you can kind of go from there. So I definitely wanna invite you to go check it out at carrieegler.com slash AI. Now I really like Leonardo and especially uh, their new Phoenix model is really good, especially for interpreting text. Uh, and I really do like Leonardo. And I, in this example, I used their new Phoenix uh, generation and I also use the quality generation mode because I wanted to try to get a higher quality um, you know, uh, generation here. One thing I did notice is that you know, it, it, did, it did add to our our, uh, our initial prompt here. So it did change the prompt a little bit, but let's look at what we got. Uh, this is the guy we got. Now it's, I think the scary part are just his eyes. But talking about the accuracy of it, um, for some reason it added these, you know, like light blue and pink uh, buildings in the back. Obviously the eyes are pretty scary. And then like I noticed on this one that, you know, it added this line on the t-shirt. Um, so these are not useful. I think Leonardo has a lot of capabilities, a lot of different models in here that you can use. And I'm sure there is a combination that could get us a lot better uh, images, but this was using their newest model on the quality generation mode with a simple prompt. We just wanted to see, you know, if you were kind of a new, new to this, you just went in here and just popped in a prompt, a basic prompt, what would come out and how easy is it to use? And these were not, we're not a great result uh, from just this basic prompt. Again, I think we could go deeper. I think we could uh, fiddle with this and get it a lot better, but th this one was pretty scary. Next up is Adobe Firefly. This is actually probably the software that I have the least experience with. So I didn't fiddle with any of the settings. I just put in the prompt and here's what we got. And I actually think these are pretty decent. I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Now, as we look at this, the big thing is that they're not extremely realistic. Now, reason is because we've just got super smooth skin. You know, everything is just a little too, it looks like it's Photoshopped or it's, you know, you've used the brushes and, you know, made everything so soft and beautiful. And, uh, and this definitely looks AI generated to me. That being said, they do look fairly realistic and they're pretty accurate, right? Navy t-shirt. Um, and standing in front of buildings. One thing interesting about this one is, and the last one is that we didn't get any different ethnicities or race. Uh, we could specify here obviously, but this just gave us like four white dudes. So that's something to consider if that matters to you. Um, we could specify in the prompt, as I mentioned, but this is actually a little bit of a surprise. I, I wasn't sure that Adobe was gonna do too great. And I think these are pretty good. Not the best we've seen, but pretty good. The last one is Canva. And this also really surprised me because these are actually pretty solid. Now I've been kind of a hater on the Canva AI stuff. I love Canva just not their AI features. And so what I put it, I put the same prompt in here and I got these four images. So let's just pop these in and we'll just take a look at each of them. So one thing, as we've been mentioning, it did give us a few different you know, ethnicities and races here. And so uh, looking at these, they look really realistic. They look really good. Let's zoom in a little bit more. I actually really like this one. I think it looks great. Now, is that an extra finger I'm seeing? Yeah, he's got an extra finger there. This hand is looking a little bit funky. Uh, but that's not too bad, right? Here's another one, not bad at all. The hands are weird. Uh, we're getting some, definitely some weird hand stuff out of there, but not bad. I think we could work with that. This one, pretty good, but we need to zoom out a little bit. So that one's probably not useful unless we can figure out how to zoom it out. And then the last one here, this one might be the best one. If we look at the hands, they're, they're still pretty funky. So I think Canva did a pretty good job, especially with the face, the t-shirt, the, the buildings. I think it did a, it looks real. It looks very real. The big issue we had here are some of the details. Like when you look at the eyeballs or you look at the, the hands, especially, we definitely ran into some issues with that with Canva, but I would say, you know, a little bit of a surprise. I thought Canva did a lot better than I thought it would. So which is the best? Well, no surprise here. I think mid journey is still the best. It provides the most flexibility to get exactly what you need. And in fact, you know, with the consistent character feature that they've recently added into mid journey, you can generate the same model. So when you get somebody that you really like the look of them, you can make them wear a different colored t-shirt, a different garment, put on a hat. You can do all kinds of different stuff, put them in a different background, different scenery. So I definitely think mid journey is the best option, but man, there are lots of other really good options such as Ideogram did a really good job and Adobe Firefly 
did a surprisingly good job. So I would definitely recommend that you check out some of the other softwares, mess around with some of those settings, and I think you'll get some pretty good results. If you wanna learn the entire step-by-step -step process of how to generate the mock-ups, then add your design on them and make them look super realistic, just click on this video where I break it all down.